Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on Kaplan turbine. So what is this Kaplan turbine? So it is known as the axial flow reaction turbine. So let us first understand what is this axial flow. So when water flows parallel to the axis of rotation of the shaft, then it is known as axial flow. Now if we observe the diagram of the Kaplan turbine, there are the main parts of this turbine. Water from the penstock enters the scroll casing. Now here the scroll casing is shown on both sides of the diagram and then the water moves to the guide vanes. Now we know that these guide vanes are stationary vanes. From the guide vanes, the water turns through 90 degree and flows axially through the runner. Now if we observe when the water flows axially through the runner, then the flow of water is parallel to the axis of shaft. Now there are some important points for this Kaplan turbine. So what are the rules? That, are, that we have to follow for this Kaplan turbine. So first is the peripheral velocity at inlet and outlet are equal. That means here u1 is equal to u2. Then velocity of flow at inlet and outlet are equal. That means velocity of flow that is Vf1 and Vf2. So we can say that for the Kaplan turbine Vf1 is equal to Vf2. And the area of flow at inlet which is also equal to area flow at outlet so these are the conditions that we have to follow and we have to solve a problem on kaplan turbine now first i will read what is the given question the hub diameter of a kaplan turbine working under a head of 12 meter is 0 0.35 times the diameter of the runner the turbine is running at 100 rpm. If the vane angle of the extreme edge of the runner at outlet is 15 degree and flow ratio 0 0.6, find the diameter of runner, diameter of the boss discharged through the runner. The velocity of whirl at outlet is given as 0. So this was the given question. Let us first understand the given data and we will draw here the velocity diagram. Now here the head H is given that is 12 meter. Then the hub diameter DB is 0 0.35 times the diameter of runner. So we can say that DB is equal to 0 0.35 DO where DO is diameter of the runner. Then speed of the turbine capital N 100 RPM that is also given. Now the angle or vane angle with tangential velocity is also given that is 15 degrees. So we have to show this angle and this angle at the outlet tip is known as phi. So we will say that phi is equal to 15 degrees. Now again there is the condition is given that the velocity of whirl at outlet is 0. So when VW2 is equal to 0 that means angle beta is equal to 90 degree. So according to this condition we will draw here the velocity diagram at the outlet tip. So I have given the link in the description box that how to draw the velocity diagram for different cases and this is the one of the case that is when velocity of whirl at outlet is equal to zero. So how to draw the diagram? So for that at this outlet tip that is this point B I, I will draw here the one line that is in the form of dash. So this is the tangent line at this point B. Now I will draw here one line parallel to this tangent. Then from this point B, I will show here the relative velocity and that is making an angle phi to this tangent line. So here is the angle phi, here is the relative velocity that is Vr2 and here is value of u2 because here Vw2 is 0. Now when Vw2 is 0, beta is 90 degrees. So here absolute velocity I have to show 
that angle is making here with this tangent line beta is equal to 90 degree so this vertical line shows the value of v2 that is absolute velocity as well as flow velocity that is vf2 so this is the velocity diagram as per the given condition so if we observe this angle phi is given that is 15 degree and then here flow ratio is also given so what is the meaning of flow ratio so we have formula flow ratio that is vf1 by under root of 2 gh is equal to 0 0.6 so when this flow ratio that is 0 0.6 is given that means this is the value of vf1 by under root of 2 gh now this capital h is known that is 12 g is 9.81 so from this we can calculate the value of vf1 so what is the value of vf1 that is 0 0.6 uh, under root of 2 into 9.81 into 12 that is 9.2 meter per second but we know that for the Kaplan turbine vf1 is equal to vf2 so we can say that therefore vf1 is equal to vf2 is equal to 9.2 meter per second so for the Kaplan turbine this is the condition now if we observe this velocity diagram so here is the value of u2 so we have to show this is the value of u2 now if we observe this triangle then tan phi is equal to vf2 divided by u2 so this vf2 is equal to vf1 so we can take here which is equal to 9.2 divided by u2 so phi is known so phi is 15 degree that is given so if i put here the value tan of 15 is equal to 9.2 divided by u2 then i will find out this u2 is equal to 34.33 meter per second now for the kaplan turbine this tangential velocity u1 is equal to u2 and which is equal to pi do n by 60 where do is the diameter of the runner so if we observe u1 is equal to u2 that is 34.33 which is equal to pi do n is 100 divided by 60 so what is this diameter of the runner so do is 6.55 meter now from this we can calculate the diameter of the hub which is equal to 0 0.35 times the do that is 0 0.35 into 6.55 that is equal to 2.3 meter now the next question is that we have to calculate the discharge q so how to calculate it that is pi by 4 do square minus db square into vf1 so this is in the bracket that we have to take that is difference in diameters so pi by 4 6.55 square minus 2.3 square into vf1 that is 9.2 so what is the answer 271.77 meter cube per second and this is the answer